everyone. Welcome back to Embora Fabrics. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, um, and hope you enjoy what I, I'm sure with you guys pretty much. Um, as you can see here, I have a project that I've been working on, and I know those who follow me on Facebook, which if you don't, don't forget down below is a direct link to the Facebook group. It's obviously the same name, Amore Fabrics. And um, I've been sharing with you guys projects I've been working on, being the fact with um, coronavirus and things like that going on, things are a little bit slower, and it gives me time to uh, finish some projects that I'm actually working on. This is one project. It's actually a vintage product. It's um, for those who are not familiar with, it's a cruel set. Those who don't know, cruel is like almost like a, a needlework that you do, like cross stitching or embroidery kind of thing, except this is done with wool. So I have this kit um, that I was going to put in my shop of more fabrics, um, but I decided to keep it because I figured in the time of what's going on, um, it, I loved it. It was just absolutely beautiful. It's when it's finished, it's like 12 by 14, um, so I can frame this, and those who know that uh, we're moving to a new place, and I figured it'd be absolutely beautiful on the wall in the entry or something, but those who don't know the Serenity Prayer, it is absolutely um, a beautiful prayer, well known for those either uh, going through hard times or recovery kind of thing, but I'll just quickly read it to you guys. Um, but it says, God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change those things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. And I figured this was perfect for what is going on. And like that, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> to top it off, it's actually quite challenging. I thought, well, I could do this, right? It totally put me outside my comfort zone. And so maybe this might be an inspiration for you guys to maybe try something new you know and it's maybe a little bit tough but when it's all done which I'll show you what I did so far right now it's kind of crinkled up into my little loom here but it's I'm just proud of myself it's actually a lot of work but it was hey I did it kind of thing but on that note of um, doing things like that I had received a package in the mail from a friend of mine and an amazing Etsy shop owner Christy she has an Etsy shop called Meta Studio she does beautiful work. So in the midst of working on this project, in the mail, I received this. Um, I did not expect to get this. Um, it was just absolutely gorgeous. Those who don't uh, know who she is, down below, I'm going to put her link. She's got a YouTube channel. She's got an Etsy shop. And she does Facebook as well. I'm sure she has Instagram. I had to ask her. I don't know if I, I think I thought that we follow each other on Instagram. I'm not sure. I'll figure it out. I'll put all the information down below. But check out her shop. She does the most beautiful art. She did this painting here on top of this wooden spool. Um, what was so, what I was so grateful is that she, this should appear scissors on the top which is awesome for those who do any type of needlework. No, you need your tiny scissors to clip off the different threads that you know are you're doing and it's convenient and it sits right on the table. She's actually picked custom orders for these. I think she may have a listing in her shop. If not, at least I provided you guys the information down below to reach out to her and maybe she can do a custom order for you guys. Just wait though. She had created this cool wooden spool. Wait to see what it does. For those who love Canta fabric and uh, the boho themed, she had made a snippet roll. Look at it. It's like a needle spool with a needle in the middle, which would be awesome pen cushion as well. But it's a snippet roll on top of this spool. Look at that. I don't know. I didn't measure how much is on this thing, but oh my gosh, it is beautiful. Look at the backing. She used that little linen fabric white details of floral but I'm sure you can use this for your project as well and then wait there's more oh goodness this girl is so talented I'm telling you guys look at the inside of the school I didn't know this part she had Maj Paj it looks like Maj Paj or glued somehow some newspaper or paper from like a book in here try to see what it says but it's something about history, 1922. Anyway, it's really, really cool. But isn't that a beautiful addition to your sewing desk for your crafting, um, for display, 
or for your projects. You could snip off pieces of this to add to your journal kind of thing. It's just really smart. I've never seen nothing like it. It made my day and I use this daily when I have my project here or just when I'm just doing any sewing work next to my sewing machine. So I'm going to put that needle right back in there. So thank you, Chrissy, so much. I also want to share another thing about her as well. I just kind of poked that in there like that. Oh, look at that. She had painted that. One thing I love about her YouTube channel is she does this deep meditation um, music as she paints. Or if you like someone who has this most calming voice and she, she mesmerizes you with it as she paints. Um, it's just gorgeous. So when I did receive the package, I received an envelope like this. And she had did a wax. Sorry, my lighting in here in the RV. Sorry, guys. So the wax seal, little some fabric muslin here. And she layered it with, um, I think that's washi tape. Inside, she had painted... Who does this, right? You know, she's got creativity that I have not seen out there, and she's got a beautiful soul as well. This beautiful thank you note she had written me, and look at that. Not too many people that I know write lovely letters like that. So thank you, Christy, so much. And inside that letter was this. Look at this little pocket she created. She had layered the different pieces here. She had sewn this pocket together. And inside, I didn't know she knows, but I love it. I love tea. So thank you. Thank you so much. Oops. Sorry about that, guys. Um, so that is absolutely gorgeous. And definitely those who know who have been following me on Facebook, I've been doing more journaling, um, creating my second book, which I'll do that in future videos for you guys as well so you can watch that. Um, so that was in there as well. But I had went to her shop because I love homemade soaps. She has been adding additionally to her Etsy shop some homemade soaps that she's made. And this one here was the, it's called the Down Shifters. It's avocado cucumber soap with rosemary and lavender essential oils. It's a four ounce soap that only, you guys won't believe this, only $4. I don't know how she does it but it smells gorgeous. It's just, oh my gosh, $4 for a nice size bar of soap. And then she does this cute little wax seal, which if you undo this, here, I'll show you. I'm gonna open her up. Sorry, I'm not wiggling too much. My camera's different here. Take that off there. This piece here, you can use this in your project. She glued that on there. I've already placed a second order, so I'm excited. Look at this piece. Just this piece here, can you guys, you can use that in your project. Look at that. But see, you're amazing. Thank you, thank you. That is awesome. And it smells good. And what I'll do, I'll put her link down below for you guys. And check her out, guys. I'm, I'm a big fan of hers, as she knows already. And I love um, everything she does. And her prices are affordable, which you guys know that's one big thing about my shop. I love to present the products with a great price. So, all right, I'll show you guys this really quick. And um, I'm almost done, so I figured I'll show it to you guys just before it's done. I should have this done within an hour today. But it's on this beautiful pure linen. It's like a nice, thick, pure linen. linen. But as you guys can see here, it's like this heart. My favorite part was the leaves. The roses were hard. I didn't expect it to be so hard for roses, but being with wool, the more you thread it through, it has a tendency to thin out and it'll break right off. So you can't pull through hard kind of thing. And um, so yeah, that was the hard part. The roses, oh, jeez. Uh, I did it though. <laughs> I made it. And at least my, my uh, the words you can understand. I know I need to iron it to make it flat. Um, but then I'm gonna go get it framed. Go to Hobby Lobby or Joann's. I'm not sure which one. Find a beautiful frame for it um, and then hang it on my new wall. Thank you guys so much. I'm glad you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, just comment down below. I'll provide you all the information that I shared with you guys today. I hope you guys have a lovely day. Bye.